This video is going to be showing how to construct a pentagonal prism given the length of one of the sides of the pentagon and the height of the prism. To construct a pentagonal prism, the first thing we have to do is to draw the pentagon in two-dimensional orientation. We, give, we begin by drawing the length of one of the sides. According to our information or the question, the length of one of the sides was 30 millimeters, 3 centimeters. These two endpoints of the 3 centimeters will become vertex A and vertex B that we will be writing afterwards. At both of these vertices, we will be drawing the lines 45 degrees and 60 degrees. You can do this, do this step in many ways. You can use your set squares or your compass and construct the angles. But what you need at vertex B and vertex A is 45 degrees and 60 degrees. So you do it on one side and then you repeat on the other. we measure 45 degrees and 60 degrees so we draw our 45 degrees line and our 60 degrees line from our first vertex and we do the same on the other side Wherever these lines intersect, where the 45 degrees lines intersect, these become very important points. Wherever these 60 degrees lines intersect, that also becomes very important. As we said, we will refer to these two points as A and B, and this becomes the first side of our pentagon, vertices A and B. We take our set square, place it on our t-square and we draw this vertical line if we have been accurate this vertical line will pass through the 4 and the 6 they are collinear wherever the 45 degrees line intersect we will call 4 wherever the 60 degrees lines intersect we will, ref we will call 6 why 4 and why 6? 4, because if we were to draw a circle from 4 to A, 4 being the center, we would draw a circle that would produce a 4-sided figure. If we were to draw a circle from center 6 to A, we would draw a circle that would produce a 6-sided figure. We want a 5. And therefore, we must bisect the distance 4 and 6 so that we can produce the number 5. We bisect with our compass. Wherever the arcs intersect, we draw a horizontal line. And wherever this line crosses through the vertical line, this is the point 5. You can also transfer the measurements, measure from 5 to 6 and transfer it upwards to get the point 7, 8, 9, 10 and so forth and that would create fine centers for you to draw a circle with a, diff a bigger radius that would fit a 7, 8, 9 sided polygon. For now, we want a 5, so from 5 I open to A and then I draw my circle. Now, take your compass from A to B and transfer these measurements across. Notice how I do one on the right and one on the left.
This is not an accurate way of drawing a pentagon, but at least it gives us an approximation. So wherever these arcs intersect our circle, these becomes our point. Wherever the vertical line intersects our circle, this becomes the, the highest vertex of our pentagon. So we have our five points to draw the pentagon. All of this is supposed to be in construction. If you're noticing here, I am making a mistake. This will be erased and fixed in a little while. Notice that the line is supposed to be drawn from B to C. And so, make sure that you're drawing from B to C, from C to D, from D to E, and then from E back to E. That's one of the reasons why you have want to have these lines in construction. If you notice, I am drawing a little bit too bright, therefore creating um, markings left on my paper because my lines are a little bit too bright and then it becomes difficult for us to erase. Do not follow this example to create construction lines. So this is my pentagon. Pentagon A, B, C, D, E. To draw a pentagonal prism, the first thing that you need to do is to draw the pentagon. Now, the next step is to enclose the pentagon into a, re into a rectangle. So you take your T-square to the highest vertex of your pentagon and draw a horizontal line. Do the same for the vertical, for the left and right we draw vertical points, vertical lines at C and at E. We will call this rectangle F. G, H, and I. Having all of this here, we can now begin our pentagonal prism. Now that we have our pentagon in two-dimensional, in our two dim in two-dimensional plane, we can start constructing our hexagonal prism. The first thing we want to do is to transfer or to draw a rectangle that will be in isometric perspective and from there transfer all our measurements. Since our pentagonal prism will be facing to the right, this becomes our first point G. So we draw a vertical line and an inclined line at 30 degrees with our set square on our T square. Tr start to transfer measurements from G to H. Transferring of measurements is easier done with the compass. Transfer from G to F. To get to point I, there are two ways of doing it. You can measure from H to I with your compass and draw an arc and then draw an arc, measure from F to I and draw another arc wherever the arcs intersect, that would be I. Or simply place your set square 30 degrees on your T square, draw the inclined line and then draw the vertical line at F. Wherever these two points intersect, that becomes point I. Remember to always place your set square on your T square. Now, we start by transferring our measurements. 
this is the rectangle in isometric so now we just need to get locate the points a b c d and e so measure from g to b transfer measure from F to E any inaccuracies will be seen here transfer this becomes the point E transfer G to C Transfer F to E. And then finally transfer from H to D. Or from I to D. Uniting the points B to C, C to D, D to E, and back to E will create the pentagon in an isometric perspective. We can darken these lines since this is the front part of the solid and so there would be no problem here. And nothing will need to be erased. Now that we have the pentagon, we can create the prism. And the easiest way to create the prism is to simply draw the inclined lines and then just highlight the length of the solid. So with our 30 degrees set square, transfer measurements. Well, draw the inclined lines at every vertex of the pentagon. Although not all these lines will be darkened, it is good to see how it will appear at the ending of the pentagon. The length of the prism is supposed to be 70 millimeters. So from B we measure 70 and from there we can take our compass and just transfer from every vertex. Vertex C, Vertex D, Vertex E. And finally vertex E. Again, although not all these lines will be darkened, we can see how the pentagon is being created at the back. B prime, C prime, D prime, E prime, and F prime. And E1, and E prime, sorry. So I will draw this pentagon in construction and then we will be darkening the parts that needs to be darkened. Again students, in isometric perspective we do not write any letters, we don't. And so therefore all these letters would need to be erased if you're drawing any letters in your drawing. Be sure to erase them. So darken from B to B prime, darken from B prime to C prime, 
darken from C to C prime darken from C prime to D prime D to D prime and the last ones that we are darkening are the last ones that would be visible from this perspective.